Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. The lowly servant here. Welcome to my channel. Today is October 3, 2022, Monday of the 27th week in Ordinary Time. The first reading is from the letter to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, I am amazed that you are so quickly forsaking the one who called you by the grace of Christ. For a different gospel, not that there is another, but there are some who are disturbing you and wish to pervert the gospel of Christ. But even if we or an angel from heaven should preach to you a gospel other than the one that we preach to you, let that one be accursed. As we have said before, and now I say again, if anyone preaches to you a gospel other than the one that you received, let that one be accursed. Am I now currying favor with human beings or God? Or am I seeking to please people? If I were still trying to please people, I would not be a slave of Christ. Now I want you to know, brothers and sisters, that the gospel preached by me is not of human origin. For I did not receive it from a human being, nor was I taught it. But it came through a revelation of Jesus Christ. Responsorial Psalm the Lord will remember His covenant forever. I will give thanks to the Lord with all my heart. In the company and assembly of the just, great are the works of the Lord, exquisite in all their delights. The Lord will remember His covenant forever. The works of His hands are faithful and just. Sure are all His precepts, reliable forever and ever, wrought in truth and equity. The Lord will remember His covenant forever. He has sent deliverance to His people. He has ratified His covenant forever. Holy and awesome is His name. His praise endures forever. The Lord will remember His covenant forever. Alleluia, Alleluia! I give you a new commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. Alleluia, Alleluia! The Gospel According to Luke there was a scholar of the law who stood up to test Jesus and said, Teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus said to him, What is written in the law? How do you read it? He said in reply, You shall love the Lord, your God, with all your heart, with all your being, with all your strength, and with all your mind, and your neighbor as yourself. He replied to him, You have answered correctly. Do this and you will live. But because he wished to justify himself, he said to Jesus, And who is my neighbor? Jesus replied, A man fell victim to robbers. As he went down from Jerusalem to Jericho, they stripped and beat him and went off leaving him half dead. A priest happened to be going down that road. But when he saw him, he passed by on the opposite side. Likewise a Levite came to the place, and when he saw him, he passed by on the opposite side. But a Samaritan traveler who came upon him was moved with compassion at the sight. He approached the victim, poured oil and wine over his wounds and bandaged them. Then he lifted him up on his own animal, took him to an inn, and cared for him. The next day he took out two silver coins and gave them to the innkeeper with the instruction, Take care of him. If you spend more than what I have given you, I shall repay you on my way back. Which of these three, in your opinion, was neighbor to the robber's victim. He answered, the one who treated him with mercy. Jesus said to him, go and do likewise. Reflection The scholar of the law wants to inherit eternal life but does not know who his neighbor is. Jesus' story about the good Samaritan who stops to help the injured person is not just about the kindness of a real neighbor. It is also a story about the indifference of Jewish religious leaders as both the priest and Levite pass by. Perhaps the pair were afraid of becoming ritually impure by touching a wounded person. Jesus' reply to who is my neighbor could not be clearer. Whoever needs my kindness today is my neighbor whether they live next door or on the side of the road somewhere. That somewhere can be anywhere that my kindness can touch. That's the end of the reflection from the sacred space. Subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell, so you won't miss out on my next upload. Be safe and always keep God in your hearts. Peace to all.